It actually has made a difference this time. Dr. Grant Hatch and Edgar Mejia, a U of M PhD student, use a special machine called a seahorse analyzer to measure energy production in cells. You know, these assays used to take uh, months to do. You know, certainly up to four weeks or so, and now we can turn this around within two hours. The machine allows Dr. Hatch to quickly look at treatments they can use to try and repair those cells. His focus? Type 2 diabetes. With that disease in particular, it impairs the cell's ability to produce energy. And so the Seahorse machine allows us to rapidly measure the uh, energy production using different types of substrates like glucose or fatty acids, this type of thing, and uh, monitor how drugs modulate their utilization. Mejia says working in the lab is beneficial to his studies. And he recognizes it wouldn't be possible without donations from True North Foundation and the Children's Hospital Foundation. Without that funding, we wouldn't be able to expand our research further. And it's also very useful, of course, for my purposes in obtaining my degree and for the training I would require. The machine costs $200,000, and there are only two in Manitoba. While the price pales in comparison to what it costs to treat those living with type 2 diabetes in this province, Mejia says it's money well spent given the potential outcome. It makes us very happy here knowing that uh, you know, the research that we're, that we're doing and all the work that's going into this can potentially be used in the future to create uh, drugs or treatments that might help uh, people suffering from various diseases. Gord LeClaire, CTV News, Winnipeg.